Yo, what is going on everyone? We are here with the DCB US R900 Big Bob. This truck was just kind of shadow dropped yesterday on SnowRunner Mod.io and I'm very excited for it. The DCB trucks and these military ones that have been coming out have been just awesome. We do have the utility attachment on the back. We have the 61 super wide tires. Um, this is one badass truck and I'm really excited to see what it can do and put it to the test here in Yukon. So. As always, guys, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you smash that sub button. Really appreciate all the love and support. But before I delay any further, we're going to jump into it. All right, so we have another excellent truck out of Rangers Workshop. It's time to customize it. This is the DCB US R900 Big Bob. I uh, had no idea this was on the way, to be honest with you. Uh, we have two engine options, 14 liter stock engine or the 8.3 liter turbocharged engine. Let's go with that. We have the high range or the five speed off road automatic. So we're going to go with the five speed off road automatic. Heavy duty, stock, or lift kit. We're going to put the lift on this bad boy. We've got some really nice original tire options at our Rangers Workshop. We have the 47 good winter tires, the 53 good winter tires. Um, I don't know why they're in the all terrain. They should be in the chain section, although they're not chained. I wish that we had, I honestly wish we had like a winner section, honestly. Uh, the 55 super single, the 61 super single, and then an off road, we have the 54 DCB Dakar singles, my favorite so far. 54 military tires, 55 wide off road tires, 59 DCB Dakar singles, 59 military tires, and the 61 wide off road tires. But, I don't know what it is. The 61s look smaller than the military tires. Maybe it's because it doesn't have an aggressive tread block like the military tires, but we're going to go with those wide off-road tires. Winch, we're going to go ahead and use the high power medium. Spare wheel, you better believe we're going to equip one. Diff lock, engageable for sure. Snorkel, tall front facing, tall flat cap. Stock or default. Hmm, this is a tough one. Let's leave the default on. That looks pretty original. Uh, we have the utility attachment, which, you know what, I'm going to go with this. I think this is pretty original, and it is actually pretty good. You could use the cargo attachment, it's great because it's a little sideboard bed, but the utility attachment adds 300 fuel tank, 250 repair parts, and one spare wheel, which I think can be pretty useful. You could haul a trailer if you wanted to with this. Standard exhaust, we got the light bumper and the heavy bumper. Let's go with the heavy bumper. Default rims, Dakar rims. Military grade rims, wide off-road black, wide off-road silver. Let's go with the military. I really like the military rims. Um, this is my favorite paint job, these two. But I really like this one. Always have in all of the DCB trucks. But now it is time to pull this bad boy out and see what it can do. Fire it up. That sound is nice. That little shake and rumble is nice, too. Interior is, well, a military truck. And you know what? I actually kind of like this seat. It's detailed, because that's kind of what you would expect out of that. Um, the sound. Oh, that is just beautiful. I'm debating whether I want to add a trailer or not, so let's take a look at the trailer store and see what we can add here. So I'm going to haul a fuel trailer, because it is a big heavy trailer. And I want to see how this bad boy handles hauling this over. You know where we're going to go, where we picked up the Cat 770G. And then we're going to do a separate test without hauling the trailer to see its full potential. The sound is so tame. It's not overpowering. It's not underpowered. It is just where you want it. I got the super wide tires here and the lift kit. I'm a little nervous to be on this kind of an angle um, with the lift, but got to do what we got to do. We are an automatic here with the all-wheel drive on, and the front tire did dig there pretty good, but it seems to be pushing through. The fact that we haven't had to lock in the diff lock yet is pretty huge. So I want to see how far we can make it throughout this process without the diff lock on and just in automatic. It's going to be nice here to see how the snorkel performs as well. 
the lift kind of makes it a no-brainer. We don't really have to worry about the snorkel ending up underwater, per se. It is actually just kind of making through this perfectly fine without the diff lock on. And to me, that is huge. I also do want to point out the detail on the headlight lenses. They have that, uh, I don't want to say glare or reflection to them. And I know part of that's because I have the graphics all the way up, but that just looks absolutely stunning. And it's really nice to see that attention to detail there. We still haven't had to engage the diff lock yet, knock on wood. I'm somewhat curious how we do an all-wheel drive in high gear instead of automatic. And we stall. Okay. So that answers that. Do we have to engage the diff lock yet? I don't think so. I think we're going to catch a little bit of traction we need. Start to really pull out of here. I do want to see if we can make it there okay, just in automatic. All right, we're gonna pop it in a low plus without the diff lock and see if that helps at all. Pop it in a low even. Back down in a low plus, we're gonna try a low minus. Oh, there we go, low minus, I think might be giving us the little bit of traction we need right now. All right. We are coming out of it a little bit. Put it in a low now. We're moving so slow. I think we really just needed that trailer to come down a little bit more. And now that that's happened, we might have that little bit extra traction we need. We are still moving. Albeit really slow, we're still moving, guys. Alright, let's pop in the diff lock just right now, just for this brief period, and see if that helps. In low minus, the diff lock is helping. All right, low plus is not the gear for us. Low minus seems to be the sweet spot, having the diff lock enabled. And we might be slow moving, but we're still moving, guys. And that's what really counts here. We always got a winch if we need it, although I don't actually don't think there's really any winch points here. Cut the wheel to the left a little bit, see if that shifts the weight enough to give us just a little bit more traction. We can keep pushing through here. You can see by looking down, we've dug up quite a bit. Let's put it in a low, back down into low minus. This does seem to be helping us a little bit, and we're still making it through, okay. Again, we're going super slow here, but that's all right. I don't think these maps were made for us to go fast in it, especially here in Yukon. And keep it on a low minus here, and we're just gonna continue to slowly nudge out a little bit. Kind of rocking a little bit, or hopping, I guess you could say, a tiny bit. I don't know if that's a good thing, but we're still kind of pushing through here. All right, we're gonna winch off this tree a little bit. So we did have to use the winch, and we did have to use the diff lock once. Continue to winch just a tiny bit more. I don't know how that tree isn't just kind of moving, but. We'll take the diff lock off and put it back in automatic and see how we do here now. 
You can see where we're losing traction on two tires. It's crazy to think that the diff lock would make that much of a difference. And sure enough, it does. As soon as we pop that diff lock in. But you know what? If this is the only spot that we need to use the diff lock, that alone is pretty impressive. Pop it back in automatic now and just coast it out and see how it goes. Seems fine so far. For some reason, we can't get it to pop in a high. We'll wait till we're in second gear. If we can reach second gear here in automatic with this trailer going through this mud, we will pop it in a high then. I think part of the problem too could be from the simple fact that the lift kit puts a trailer ton at a weird angle and kind of maybe relieves some of the weight in a sense because it's trying to lift it up because it's so high. So yeah, high is not going to work I don't think here. Let's put it on a low plus and diff lock on see how much better it does going through this stuff. Not a massive difference really. Put it back in automatic I guess. We are spinning pretty good, but overall it is performing exactly how you would expect a military truck like this to perform. And it's not LP by any means, which is really nice to see. I do wish we could get it in a high gear though. We'll see if we can pop back in. This. There we go, we're in second with good stride. Now we're in high, there we go. Let's hope we don't end up stalling out, but we actually manage to get it in the high with that little bit of momentum we had which I think is all we really need to keep a decent pace going here now we're gonna hit some deep mud here we'll see how this goes the lift kit brought plenty of room to not have to worry about that bumper hitting anything or getting damaged that was really, really nice. The ground clearance on this is absolutely awesome. We have another fuel trailer here too, so we're gonna have to park this one somewhere else. We're gonna pull down in here and park it in here. And now we're gonna go back without the trailer and see what kind of a difference it makes not having the trailer equipped. I think we're going to be pretty surprised at the difference it makes. For example, we just hit third gear for the first time, fourth gear now. So that trailer was slowing us down quite a bit, I'd say. We did hit that at a really awkward angle. <laughs> I will say that. Still pushing through just fine in automatic gear. In second, see if we yeah, there we go. Now we're in third. Let's put it on a high and see how we do. I'm loving this truck so far though, and I can see this being very useful in Wisconsin. In again without the trailer it even still seems to struggle here a little bit which you know is honestly good to see in a sense because it shows it's not super OP no winch points slow and steady we did only need to use a diff lock twice and put it in a low twice which is good really good
and slow and steady we surely creep out of this but it sure does look good and that is one thing we can say without a doubt this is where we're going to end it though guys thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate the support don't forget to drop a like and sub and as always guys the mod link is going to be in the description if you want to download this and check it out for yourself you can do that just by clicking the link downloading and subscribing and then pop it in game and purchase this bad boy we'll catch you next time